What's cracking, fellow homies? Welcome back. This is your boy, Skoom. Hope y'all are well, like, subscribe, and comment. Major Nichayev. I feel like I need some shit. Hold on. See? Okay, this can... Get the fuck up on out of here. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's make a break for it. Run, pussy! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Everything's always trying to kill me. Ah! To Dude. Trav, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover, screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's Bro. dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. Now... You have my no. sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. No. No. Get the fuck up on out of here! I ain't about that shit, cuz. Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be oh, reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's gotta be more to it than that. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right. He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collecting... Autolysis starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death followed by defecation in three to five minutes. Rigor mortis sets in five to six hours. 
What the fuck, dude? I don't care. Oh my god. I am so stressed out right now. That was fucked up. That was fucked up, bro. Okay, what? So what? Hello? Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov Complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required, but what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable oh, for Martian okay. Martian, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. Now they're gone. What the fuck? You're one. What the fuck? Dude, do they just keep coming? Okay, fuck this. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my lord! Are you fucking kidding me? Man? Holy! Fuck off, you prick!
No way, dude. Oh my god, bro. That was unfucking believable. Okay. Puss ass bitch, what? <laughs> Are we for real right now, dude? What? Then we'll just uh, move right along. Fuck! 
Okay. Ever? Oh my god. I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna break something. I am going to break something. Oh, you cunt. You filthy little whore. Cool, man. That's really cool, man. is this game oh goodness gracious tell me comrade major based on your professional and personal experience would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the atomic heart project yeah they could do it no problem if there were plenty of bots at all the military bases headquarters and launch sites and nobody expected them to attack they could take the american military by surprise just like they did to the soldiers here what a shame the world just recovered from a war and now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove. What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from Collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from Collective, and whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect from Collective, but a bot can't, can it? That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into Collective at the drop of a hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots, so they'll only listen to them. Correct. <laughs> okay, well, I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing right now in case that was not evident <laughs> okay so I, okay so I'm thinking some some down here maybe okay yep uh, but I also have to oh bitch Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Don't touch me. 
What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. So much loot. Oh, God. This is so hot. I love it. Oh, it's... Some fucking puzzle, dude. Okay, hold on. I think I just did a thing, so let's see. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, shit. Where is it? Yeah, buddy. Okay. What? There we go. That's what's up. Big G shit. Right there, cuh. Dude, I'm getting way too good at this shit. Fuck up my face. I'm sorry, what? What in the... What? Oh, God! Dude, that's so sick. That is so sick. Sick as fuck. At. 
Let's go, boy. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Motherfucker. Wait, how do I? Oh, what is this? Bullshit. Oh, I, I, I. There we go. I was like, how the f. Because I've come across these before. I just. I don't remember how the fuck it works. But there we go. Hey, wait, hold on. Let's take a shot. Cheers, mates. That is nice. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What in the actual weird? I am calling the police. Oh, you know what? This is probably a good place to stop for now. Fuck yeah, y'all. Hell yeah. Well, thank y'all so much for watching and catch y'all next one. Peace.